Now, the pressure of constantly pumping out music as an artist in hip hop is sky high, especially in a time like this. At the moment, it almost feels like everyone is trying to flood the market with music. There are a couple reasons why this is the case though, and I do have a couple things to say about this, so yeah. Let's talk about it. Now, this topic came to mind when I saw that Nav dropped an album last week. The album that I'm talking about is, of course, Good Intentions. But not only did Nav drop that project, which has 18 songs on it, but only three days after releasing that album, he dropped the deluxe version of that project, which had 14 additional records in it. So that's 32 new songs in the span of 72 hours. Now, earlier this year, we also saw Louis Vert doing the same thing. He, of course, dropped Eternal Take on March 6th earlier this year. And then a week after, the deluxe version dropped with 14 additional records. Another rapper who did the same thing, Lil Baby. He of course dropped My Turn at the end of February. A little over a month later on May 1st, the same thing here. The deluxe version came out. He only had six new records on the deluxe though, but there's a very consistent theme going on here. It honestly feels like this is the new standard now. Pump out as much music as you possibly can when the opportunity presents itself. In, for example, Lil Uzi Vert's case, he hadn't dropped anything in a while, so he was sitting on a whole bunch of material. Kind of makes sense why he would do something like that, but the point still stands, you know? The industry has changed and the streaming game is one of the biggest reasons as to why this is happening. You get heavily rewarded for dropping music in abundance nowadays. The more records you have on your project, the quicker the streams are gonna rack up, the more potential listeners you're gonna have because now people have options. They have the opportunity of finding one or two songs that they really like from that 20-something track album and this kind of plays into the potential listeners thing that I'm talking about. Also, keep in mind, we're in a time in hip-hop right now where rappers are essentially just chasing hits because everyone knows okay we all know how powerful one of those hits can really be a hit record can literally okay literally turn things upside down we've seen it happen to so many artists but the demand for new music is simply higher than it's ever been rappers are really just adapting to the natural shift that's going on in the industry now another thing i want you to really think about is the fact that the attention span of the average listener nowadays is lower than it's ever been one reason why this is the case is probably because of options i mean there's literally so much you can listen to. And keep in mind, there's always music dropping by the second. People's attention is simply so divided. It ain't really that surprising though, since we're constantly just being fed with new material. I came across this very informative research paper about Spotify in relation to attention spans. Now, if I had to guess, some of these numbers that I'm going to show you in just a second are probably way higher now. Keep in mind that Spotify and streaming is bigger than it's ever been before, but let's check it out. How often do people skip? The first and most basic question question to answer is, how often do people skip? Given that skipping is so easy, how big of a part does skipping play in our listening? The answer, a lot. By the way, just a side note, this article is from 2014. That's why I said these numbers are probably going to be higher. But with that being said, let's continue. Now, here are the numbers. First, let's look at how often a song is skipped within the first five seconds of play. I call these quick skips. The likelihood that a song will be skipped within the first five seconds is an astounding 24.14%. Nearly one quarter of all song plays are abandoned in the first five seconds. The likelihood that a song will be skipped within the first 30 seconds rises to 35 0.05%. Just a quick comment on this, it ain't really that surprising that rap songs are getting shorter and shorter nowadays. The original Old Town Road is 1 minute and 53 seconds. Ransom by Lil Tecca is 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Shook by DaBaby is 2 minutes and 43 seconds. You see the pattern, right? Not only are most of the biggest rap songs really short, but a lot of them also have some kind of hook factor. For example, the e er e er on the box. And this plays into this whole attention span aspect of things because the longer a track is, automatically the higher the percentage of people who end up skipping the track X amount of seconds into it is gonna be. This also goes hand in hand with the extremely high output of music rappers nowadays have because why is that output so high? Well, the demand is of course higher, you get noticeably rewarded for dropping a lot of music, and really it just comes down to quantity over quality at this point. Now let's check out the last part of this research paper. The chance that a song is skipped before it ends is 48.6%. You know, this is actually the reason why I don't think people really listen to albums like that anymore. The incentive for a rapper to make a really good album and really take his time with it isn't that high because there's a really big chance that a big percentage of people will just be skipping, skipping, skipping through the whole album. And by the way, this is the same exact reason why the best songs often get slept on. A lot of people kind of skim through albums. They don't really listen to the album like that. And that really good 
song ends up staying slept on because people aren't simply giving that song multiple chances. But regarding this, I don't think this is something established rappers have to worry about because they've made a name for themselves already. People have bought into their product. But the question is, what happens to all the rappers who aren't really that established? It seems like putting all your energy into creating a strong single might be the right way to do things, at least if you're trying to blow up. Rappers flooding the market is one of those things that's almost like a standard now. And flooding the market is only in relation to how things used to be only a couple years ago. Things have just changed so fast. And right now, it's expected, especially from all the new ones. With streaming being as big as it's ever been, it's only gonna get more and more acceptable to operate in this manner. People's attention spans are getting worse by the second and the rest of the industry is definitely rocking with the flood the market program. I feel like this is the natural evolution of the rap game. What do you think though? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.